Hello everyone. This is Jewel from Goddess Creative. I wasn't going to share today. I wasn't going to share because I'm obviously I'm in quite a low mood today. Um, a low energetic vibration today because I've just found out last night from my daughter, my 26 year old daughter that lives in Sydney, um, that she's going to have the vaccine. And since I found out, I've been shattered. And of course, I wanted to withdraw. I actually just wanted to shut everything down and close myself off from the world. It was my first reaction. Very, um, devastated yeah just devastated I'm trying to process this um, particularly from the human perspective it's so easy to take the to say to take it and look at it from a higher perspective and this is going to be my biggest test to move my energy beyond this to look at it from a higher perspective and hence why I'm sitting here talking to you about it today. Um, yeah, this is, we're up against the biggest challenges of our lives. We really are. Um, and it's going to hit so close to home for everyone. Absolutely everyone. So yeah, I'm still sitting in the devastation of or what she told me um, since living in Sydney she moved to Sydney four years ago she's been climbing the corporate ladder incredibly proud of her but she's very very you know sort of in in constant oh, that's probably not a proper word but like really surrounded and really part of the the social norm you know the climbing, the corporate ladder and the big city, inner Sydney, big city. And um, the fear, the fear that is put on them. I mean, I'm pretty lucky at the moment because I'm in Queensland and so far we're just getting told, well, our state is running behind the rest of the country. So come on, Queenslanders, you should all go get the jab. But for people in New South Wales, um, it's devastating because they are so pressured. Not only are they are pressured by just everybody around them and also their jobs and everything, um, from coming from their workplaces and where they're allowed to go and you know part of her that's what she said to me mum I don't I don't think I've got the strength to go against everybody and that's part of why she's doing it not because she wants to um, but unfortunately she trusts her doctor and that's what she said to me and I think I wouldn't be so worried if um, she had good immunity, but she doesn't. She's asthmatic, and just two weeks ago she was diagnosed with Hashimoto's, which does run in our family. And of course, I'm just worried, worried. And no amount of supplements or therapeutics she's is going to change this outcome that is already pre destined for her unfortunately you know it is that that's that, that you know I cannot change her free will this is her free will soul's path and I understand that 
but from the mother's perspective it's breaking my heart and I went to the beach this morning trying to ground my energy and just sit and be at the beach and as I sat at the beach today this bracelet this bracelet fell off my daughter and her name is Destiny because I'm a mother and of course she's got a name like that but she gave this to me this infinity bracelet and I know it's got a flimsy kind of chain but this never falls off me it never ever falls off me but it fell off me today at the beach and onto my towel and this is telling me that I'm losing a link. I'm losing a link of my family. This is what it tells me. This is what I got confirmed from spirit. And I think I'm going through this as her mother as to be a test because this universe is a testing this 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 particularly this um this earth timeline is a testing timeline of learning growth and growth and pushing through different types of energy in all different ways that they come and um, this one I know is going to be the biggest test of my life because no no child should die before their parents and I know you, you might be thinking well I'm sounding really extreme because she you know, there's nothing's happened yet, but when you know what I know, and I know what to prepare myself, that's what the sad thing is. And we're all going to go through it with loved ones. We're all going to go through it with somebody we know, or a lot of people we know, and loved ones. And... It's devastating so my dad he's already had had them but my dad's in his mid to late 70s so I know he will pass next year that's what I got told my daughter this eldest one the first shot that um, she gets will be the saline the saline shot is what spirit said to me so I was thrilled when I heard that I was absolutely thrilled that she's going to have the saline shot and like I thought to myself so I can protect her then you know and I can pray for her and I can get our ancestors to protect her and my mum has passed and I can get my mum, call in my mum, her grandmother to protect her. Um, but her second shot, I got told her second dosage was going to be the real thing. And that that will cause kidney damage and eventually kidney failure. And this will unfold next year. And like I asked, I asked my guides and I got told I can't prevent it as it is her own soul's journey, her own path. It's, or she's already chosen. It's, it's what she chose to experience. And I mean, 
you could turn around and say in your in a 3d thinking mind like some of some of the comments you know a couple of comments i've had so in your 3d thinking is how can a 26 year old choose that they don't choose that in their 3d thinking but for their soul's journey they make the decision to provide growth for not only them, the, themselves and those around them for the experience of those around them and that's how it works um, this is devastating it's devastating because my middle daughter is a nurse and so she's a couple of years younger three years younger and um, thank God when I asked about her yes she will get the shot she'll get the V but it'll it'll all be the saline one thank God and she will be fine and I know why that is and that is because some of the health professionals know this <laughs> that's why health professionals some of the health professionals know this and they know that if they don't do something to protect by giving the saline to protect some of the health workers there's going to be no damn health workers to do anything in the next year that's why there's the saline it's just not it's not in high dosage like I've asked um, the percentage of saline around and compared to the percentage of um, the real V and of course the real V way far far more outweighs the saline getting the saline um, version of it um, But we have to have some health professionals. We can't have them all passing. And a lot of them refusing to have it, which is great. But if there's a, a health passport that's required, then they have to somehow disguise the situation that they have received it when it wasn't really the real thing. Now I know this is all for our growth and it is all for our growth, but it's friggin' devastating. It's life shattering. And I don't think quite anybody understands. Well, I know some some have already experienced the illnesses already and a couple of families have passed because my beautiful friend that I told you about that email she's uh, she works at Brisbane Hospital she sent me an email and um, a reply email and she said that they set up a candle and memorial thing uh, at the hospital for the amount for people that have passed and there's like at least 10 candles to represent those that have passed from the V and it's a memorial that is growing in numbers and will continue to grow. So I think I'm trying to tell you this to help get your head around it. I'm not trying to take your energy lower. I am processing in my own humanity right now because I have three beautiful daughters and I might be losing one of them and other members of family and friends for sure. Um, 
it's just a devastating situation. And because she's a grown-up, I can't, you know, and even if she wasn't a grown-up and it's her free will and her life's path for this to happen, to go through the, the passing over journey, it is just the soul's will that we have to come to terms with. And I have to move out of this story to even be of any use to myself, anybody else, to try and get through this. But it is incredibly sad and devastating. And I don't know what else to say at the moment. Um, yeah, and obviously it's put all my work on hold <laughs> for the moment because um, this is just processing day one. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs>